in the petrified uh, national forest in Arizona, there is an archaeological site that contains a series of petroglyphs. And what's interesting about these petroglyphs is they depict these beings with very large hands and very large feet. And there are all these footprints uh, that appear to look similar to the Bigfoot footprints that we often uncover. And the petroglyphs were essentially made by the Pueblo people 2,000 years ago. And it tells a story of these stick people who they said were very tall and hairy and had these large bulbous red eyes and apparently these stick people were coming down from the mountains and they were attacking their village every night stealing the young stealing animals and it would continuously do this to the point where the Pueblo actually left that area because they were afraid of the stick people. And throughout Native American history here in the Americas, the early indigenous people often spoke of encounters with Sasquatch. And not only did they speak of encounters with Sasquatch, they were always very aggressive and they seen the Sasquatch as being their own race of beings and that they existed in tribes and that they had villages and that they lived amongst the Native Americans of the time. And all of the Native American cultures have some sort of Sasquatch or Bigfoot legend and it's very interesting that a lot of these stories align so perfectly. And often these encounters with the Sasquatch and the Bigfoot are always seeming to be that they are aggressive and tend to go after these people and seem very animalistic in nature. Now, if you go to the Northwest, right, there's the same thing, there is stories of these Native American tribes who were um, attacked by Bigfoot-like creatures in the night. In Michigan, the Iroquois talked about going to this lost island of Bigfoot where apparently these Bigfoot-like creatures lived. And when they came to this island, they were greeted by the Bigfoot and they welcomed them to their village and they had homes, they had structures, they had sort of uh, their own civilization, yet they were still very animalistic. And apparently after the Native Americans had met with the Sasquatch on this island, they then leave and go back to their village. And that night, the Sasquatch creatures come and actually raid their village and take their young and their animals and their women back to the island. And these group of Iroquois Native Americans go to this island to fight the Sasquatch-like creatures. And apparently this big war breaks out between the Sasquatch and the Iroquois that goes on for years until initially there's an agreement that the Native Americans would stay to this area in a specific territory and the Sasquatch-like creatures would stay to their area. And that if it, one of them were to cross into each other's territory, it would break this truce that they had developed. And apparently from time to time, there would be Sasquatch that would wander into Iroquois territory and these battles would ensue. And what's interesting, you see this in, in California, in the Sierra Nevadas. You see this in the Northwest. Um, we even see and hear of uh, these, these Bigfoot-like stories in Central America, in South America. Except they have different names for these Bigfoot-like creatures. Um 
And you see that also these Native Americans not only talk about uh, these Bigfoot-like creatures, but they talk about these ant people, these lizard, lizard people, and they often would describe these wars between these ants and the lizard people and the Sasquatch, and that all the time that they were fighting and that the ant people actually would hide them underground because there was this great battle that had taken place. Um, but you see, as I said, this repeated in all these Native American legends. So when you think about how much they talk about Sasquatch and the tribe of Sasquatch, there has to be maybe some sort of truth to this because why would they come up with these stories? Why would they want to remember these stories? Because they believe the things that are important should be told over and over again so they're not forgotten. So why would they not want to forget about these battles, these wars between the Sasquatch? And I think it's because at one time there was very large populations of Sasquatch that lived amongst the indigenous peoples of the Americas.